Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for October 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation, which is perfectly okay, but if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that info in the description box below this video. Also, the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, so this time around, I actually want to focus more on you and your energy. Usually I do it like 50-50 um, between you and another person, but yeah, I'm feeling guided this time around. Focus more on you. We will look a little bit into the other another person's energy towards you, and yeah, you can always cross-watch um, and see if your person's sign resonates with your situation. All right, Aries, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of October 2022. What is going on? All right, for the situation, we have the Knight of Wands crossed by the Death card. Okay, so we do have Scorpio already showing up in your reading. Um, you're going back and forth between either ending a situation or making like a huge transition in your life in regards to love or in regards to some kind of a connection here. So yeah, a lot of back and forth. I feel like, you know, you take action and then you might not fully go through with it. So yeah, let's see recent past. We have the lovers. Okay, so there's definitely, I feel like you've been in this situation for quite some time here. Um, there's definitely a connection that you feel very, very strongly about. Um, and possibly the other person is also feeling the same way about you, but you're still trying to make a decision here. And this decision requires some major kind of a transformation. Let's see for your consciousness, we have the seven of wands. I'm just going to get the rest of them and then um, get into it. Your subconscious, we have the ten of pentacles. Your current energy, we have the emperor and the external influence, which could be your person's energy. We have the king of wands. The near future is the two of wands and potential outcome or message for you. We have the five of cups. All right, Aries. Um, I feel like you you are guarded in some way, like you're guarding yourself. It's almost like you're blocking out what your intuition is telling you or what you are trying to do here. And that's why you have this like back and forth, um, almost like as if you're feeling defensive against what you're trying to do. So it's like there's this part of you that's, you know, telling you or driving you to make some kind of a decision to bring about an ending or a major, major um, transformation here and then you're like no 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 like I don't want to do that so that's what's happening in your conscience mind now subconsciously though we have the ten of pentacles so this is something that you're that's either affecting your decision or something that you know is it's actually driving you without you being aware of it and that is some kind of stability some kind of a commitment so it's either you wanting this, deep down you do want this commitment, you do want some kind of stability here with a particular person, but it could, this could even be what is holding you back. This could be what is actually um, keeping you from, from um, making this decision. So it could be that, you know, you have a fear of this commitment, or it could be that because there is a commitment that you are involved in, that is what you are afraid of bringing an end to, because it feels like this is something you have worked for, this is something that you have built on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, however, I do get that your current energy with the Emperor, you you have more control over this than you realize. I feel like you have more control over this than you know. This is something that you can actually conquer. You can actually conquer whatever it is that is being presented to you here. Um, another person here that is either attached to you, this is somebody who has a lot of passion for you. There is someone here who does have a lot of passion for you and I feel like they might even be like, encouraging you and trying to show you that this is something you can do. So I don't know if this is um, a love connection actually with this person showing up. This is just like the external influence from someone or if it's like a friend, but there is someone here that is trying to give you that confidence, trying to give you that courage. 
trying to help you see that you really can be this emperor and that you actually are. So for the near future, we do have the Two of Wands, so I feel like, you know, you're still kind of at this standstill, but know that the, the future is always in your hands. You know, you, you do have control over this. This is just saying that, you know, this is where you seem to be headed, at least for the first half of October, but we will get more clarity when we actually clarify these cards. Um, but yeah, it's like you do have this plan in your head. It's like you do know where you want to go. And I feel like there's just a little bit of procrastinating. And what Spirit is trying to say here, okay, with the message for you being the Five of Cups, is that the more you procrastinate, the more difficult this feels, the more grief you will feel because you're just giving it that time to for the grief to just keep building, right? Um, yeah, let's let's actually clarify. So this is this is under your control, all right? You are this emperor. It doesn't have to be this way for so long. Let's see. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands with the death card. The 3 of Cups the High Priestess, and the Five of Pentacles, okay, which is actually a very similar energy to that Five of Cups that we have over here. So yeah, it's like, you know, you, you just want to keep things light. I feel like you want to avoid the difficulty of this. Again, it feels like you are, you feel like your intuition might let you down. Um, your intuition is speaking to you, but there's this essence of, yeah, but my intuition, like what it's telling me to do, it feels like it's going to lead to loss. Um, and it just feels too heavy for you. And it's like, you know, you once, it, I, I feel like you get close to this death energy, meaning this transition, this transformation or an ending of some sort. And because it feels heavy and it feels like you're going to face a loss, you just want to keep things happy. You, you want to stay in this like happy state, but you know, sometimes we need to go through something difficult and it's okay to go through a grieving process. It's okay to feel some kind of a loss because that's what's actually going to lead to more happiness in the future. And I feel like that's what your intuition is trying to tell you here. All right, let's see this lovers for the recent past. The Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely a connection. There's a connection here um, that you feel a lot of passion for. And it just feels like it kept, it's like it's growing, but like it can't complete. Um, it's like it's always in this state of about to take off, almost like that. And for whatever reason, you know, you are kind of like stuck in this situation where like you need to make a decision here. Let's see the Seven of Wands for your consciousness here. So this is like what you are thinking or what you are more aware of. The Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. What are you, it's like you're trying to protect something here. It's like you're trying to protect something but at the same time, you know, you, again, there's a very deep connection here that you have with someone. Um, I don't know who this is. This could be somebody from your past. This could be somebody that is, you know, has just come into your life. I see it more as it being from the past. And in a way, it's like you're blocking it out because you're trying to protect something else. You are aware of this connection, though. Let's see this Ten of Pentacles, what's happening here subconsciously. The Chariot, okay, so Cancer showing up and the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know if you're already involved in some kind of a situation that seemed to have progressed very, very um, quickly, possibly. 
Um, whatever it is, I feel like that is, this is what is holding you back. This is what is making you be very, very defensive here. Or it could be that you are, um, I feel like it's split 50-50 here. For some of you, there is something that you are involved in. I don't know if it's a career. I don't know if it's like a marriage or um, some high level of commitment where this is something that you are afraid of losing control over or you are afraid of just losing it in some way. And this is why you are defensive against bringing about an ending in order to have this the lovers and six of cups, which is a connection that you feel very, very strongly about. And then for others of you, it's like you are afraid of that. You are afraid of a new, of what this, what a new kind of a situation where that might lead. Um, afraid of the commitment and afraid of things moving possibly too quickly. And again, feeling like you might lose control over how it progresses. But let's see the Emperor, which is also representative of Aries, and it's actually very a very, very powerful card here. So this is definitely a um, Spirit's message to you here with this Emperor, telling you that, you know, you will have control. There's no reason to feel like you will lose control. Um, this can also represent a father figure, if that resonates for everybody, for anybody, or having that particular role. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So yeah, you're feeling like, like you actually being able to step up and having control and, you know, having everything in place, especially in terms of giving love um, to something here you feel like that's just going to be really, really challenging. And I feel like, you know, in your mind, it actually feels like it's going to be more challenging than what it actually will be. But the message here is that, you know, following your heart, following love, you know, can never actually lead you in the wrong way. Following fear, however, can, and usually does lead you the wrong way. Um, so it's like spirit is saying, you know, follow your heart, fo follow love. Where do you feel the love? You will have control. And yeah, you know, it might not be easy, but it's not going to be as hard as you think because you are the emperor. All right. You have what it takes to fully have control over this and to hold on to whatever it is that you actually need to hold on to. Whatever you don't hold on to, those things are and whatever it is that you do lose, those are going to be things that were not necessary for you anyway. So let's see this King of Wands for the external influence here. We have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Ooh, okay. Um, I definitely feel like, yeah, you know, there is somebody here giving you that courage to walk away, to leave something in, in your past, you know, to fully move on towards a path of healing and taking that more difficult path, which requires leaving something in the past um, and just leaving it there, even if it does entail some kind of a loss. That loss is going to be temporary because this will move you towards healing. Now, I also do get that for some of you, um, a person that you're dealing with here might actually be um, distancing themselves. And it's not a bad thing. I feel like, you know, they're doing this in order for their own healing if they're distancing themselves from you. And yeah, like it would only make sense because you're struggling with making this decision here. Again, don't forget that the roles can definitely be reversed here. So let's see that Two of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles and the Devil. <laughs> Aries, you're overthinking this. Um, I feel like, you know, this procrastination, it's like, it, to you it might feel like you are making progress and I'm not saying that you're not. I do feel like, you know, you are. But I feel like what Spirit is trying to say here is that there are times where, you know, you might be focusing too much on this, like too much on the details, too much on 
what is it that you need to do and on making this plan and you know just thinking and thinking and thinking about it so much so to the point where you know you end up procrastinating and delaying taking action because you're too busy trying to work out the details and it's I feel like spirit is really saying you know start somewhere because the longer that you keep procrastinating you know the more that it just keeps you in this five of cups energy where you're just feeling this sorrow this grief this sadness okay so with Capricorn showing up here we also do have Capricorn okay so some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn you might be dealing with another Aries um, what else did we see here we had uh, Scorpio Cancer but of course you could be dealing with any sign okay we also do have Leo but any you could be dealing with any sign these are just the ones that I am seeing here okay so let's clarify this five of cups the king of pentacles and judgment Yeah, um, whatever, I, I, I'm getting that with this King of Pentacles, it's referring back to that Ten of Pentacles. Whatever it is that is in your subconscious that you might not be aware of, but maybe now you are a little bit, or maybe it's like beginning to come through. Um, take a look at that. Okay, take a look at what what is it about stability that is holding you back? What is it about commitment that is holding you back? Or again, for some of you, I mean, again, um, with the Emperor and the... Um, king of pentacles here like i'm getting like a parental role okay so that could somehow fit in into all of this in some way okay just take it as it resonates what is it that is holding you back in terms of that because whatever that is it's keeping you that is what is keeping you stuck and the message for you here is to you know really become aware of that so that you can make a final decision and I do see you moving in that way, right? Judgment here is the final card out. So it's like this resurrection, this making a decision, having major insights and major realizations. You are so capable of that. And then acting on them. So no more delaying, Aries. Okay, so if this resonated, let's get a final oracle message for you. And we have breathe. Yeah, because I feel like you're, you're, again, it's like you're overthinking things. So just take a deep breath, allow yourself to relax and feel. Feel what it is that, you know, your heart is telling you and your intuition, it's not going to guide you wrong. So those are your messages, Aries. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.